So what is Company Web? Company Web is a component of Microsoft Windows Small Business Server. It is simply an internal website also known as an intranet. Into this website you can store all sorts of information including documents, spreadsheets, emails, etc. You can also store other general information that is typically part of a business including tasks, calendar items, projects and more. In many ways it can be the central repository for all the information you have in your business. Company Web is built using Microsoft SharePoint Foundation 2010. SharePoint provides the flexibility on which you can create just about anything you require to manage your informational needs. So what's this video going to cover? Well the video is going to have a look at the basic operation of Company Web specifically on Microsoft Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard as this represents the most current version of the software. If you're using Windows Small Business Server 2003, 2003R2 or 2008 you'll find that there is also a company web but much of the look and feel has changed from these previous versions. However there are still plenty of similarities. As such the video may provide some insight into the, the workings of older versions of company web. Specifically we're going to have a look at the following components of company web. Shared documents, calendar, tasks, picture libraries, recycle bin and search. This video will give you a step-by-step -step guide through all these areas showing you each item in detail. If you have access to Company Web already then it's a good idea for you to follow along this tutorial. So how can I use Company Web? Well the very first thing that you need to do is to get Company Web up and to do that basically all you need to do is open a browser and browse to the URL http colon forward slash forward slash company web. Once you've done that you should see a website like what is displayed below. Again to get the most functionality out of company web you really should use Microsoft's Internet Explorer. However it will work with other browsers but again most, most of the functionality is available through Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay, so if we have a brief look at Company Web, you'll see that it looks very much like most other websites in that you can navigate around, um, it displays a web page, and you'll notice that the site includes a number of hyperlinks. So again, if I uh, mouse over these, you'll see that they are displayed uh, with a link underneath. So again, as I move over these, you'll see that they highlight, so these are like standard web hyperlinks. So again what I'm going to do here is to demonstrate that is I will go over the announcements at the top of the screen here and simply click on that area. And you'll notice that this takes me to the announcement screen which shows me that there are a number of announcements already. Again to move back to the front page we simply hit the back button. Now we can also return to the home page by hitting on the home tab over here in the top left. So again if I repeat this process, if I click into announcements and then I click onto the home tab, I'll be taken back to the home page. On the left hand side here you'll see a what's known as a quick start menu. So all these items here, libraries, site pages, shared documents, lists, calendar, tasks and whatnot is known as our quick start menu. This basically allows us easy navigation to that location on Company Web. So the first location that we'll visit is Shared Documents. So what we need to do is simply click on Shared Documents and now you'll see we're taken to our Shared Documents location. We can denote that by having the word Shared Documents displayed in the breadcrumb navigation up the top here. So Shared Documents is known as a document library. This is typically an area in Company Web in which we can upload a significant range of documents. So to do this we simply add, uh, click on the Add Document link and that pops up with a dialog. We can now browse to the page or the document we wish to upload. Simply select that and go Open. We click OK and in a matter of seconds that document is now uploaded to our document. So what you'll also notice is that I have the word icon displayed on the very left hand side, the name of the document, when it was modified, who modified it 
and the file size. So again I can continue to repeat this process uploading uh, a number of documents. So Company Web does support the uploading of multiple documents but that will not be covered in this tutorial. So you can upload them individually or you can upload them in bulk. So now that we have a number of documents in our document library we can take advantage of some of the features of Company Web. We can for example click on the column name and you'll notice that it now sorts it from A to Z. If we now click this again you'll see it now sorts from Z to A. And you'll notice that the arrow here next to the name field gives us an indication of which way this is being sorted. So not only can we sort our uh, list here, but what we can also do is filter it. So if I go into the type column and click on there, or pull down the down arrow, you'll notice that I can apply a filter. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a filter which will only show me anything that matches a doc. So we're only going to show Microsoft Word documents. You'll notice that when a filter is active, you'll note there's a little filter icon next to the column that is filtering. So again, this is now showing me just the one item that matches my filter criteria. To turn this filtering off, I simply click the option again and select the option to clear the filter from the type, and you'll see that the total list of files now returns. Now we can also work on an individual item in our list here of documents. So if I mouse over this and, for example, click on this document, you'll see that um, it is highlighted and a little menu uh, option will be available. So if I click that on the right hand side, you'll notice that it pops up a menu that I can select a number of items from. So in this case, what I'm going to do is select to check the item out. You'll notice that it indicates the item is being checked out. Once the screen has refreshed, you'll notice the little icon shows a small green arrow in the bottom right hand corner. This indicates that the item is checked out. When I check an item out, it basically means I am able to edit it, make any changes, whereas everybody else can only read the previous version. So again, this supports basic document management within Company Web. Once I've made the changes to that document, I can then click here and I can check the document back in. When I check it back in, I can choose whether to retain my items after checking in or as well as adding comments about what I have changed during this editing process. So I click OK and this will check the document in. You'll see the little green arrow disappears and the document now becomes available for all people to access. The next item we'll have a look at is our calendar. So if we select the calendar from the list on the quick start menu on the left hand side again that's hyperlinked so if we click that we now have a view of our calendar and as you can see it's currently showing in a monthly format now if we go up the top here we can for example select uh, the events and you'll see that the ribbon is now displayed if I select calendar you'll notice that I can change the view to one of day, one of week, or one of month. So what I want to do here now is if I go to events and I click on a new event I will see a window displayed. So I simply go in here and complete the required information and once I have finished that I simply select save and you'll see that that event now appears automatically in the calendar. If I want to edit or work on that I simply click on that and it will open it again and give me the ability to edit that item. So if I go back to my browse item you'll see that the breadcrumb navigation is now displayed again. If I go to the end of this you'll see that there is a pull down option available at the end here next to calendar. If I click that I can now look at my calendar a number of different ways. So if I select the option here for all events it will now display all the items in my calendar in a list format. 
So this allows me to view the calendar in a number of different ways. So again, it's much like the filtering. We can have the same amount of data, but we can look at the calendar in a number of different ways. So again, one of the advantages of Company Web is the ability to view data through a number of different views. So let's now turn to Tasks. We select this from under the Lists heading on the Quick Start menu again, and you'll see that I have a list of tasks here. So again, simply easy to add a task by just clicking on Add New Task um, and put in the information that is required and whether the process, for example, is in progress, how much has been done, and who it's assigned to, plus any further details. When I'm complete, I select the Save button, and you'll see that it is displayed in a list, much like the other items we have seen before. You'll notice here also that we're able to pull down the option here at the end of the task to view all tasks, my tasks, due today, active tasks, assigned to, and by group. So again, very easy to get an overview of which tasks are due and which tasks are active. So let's now have a look at our picture library. Picture library is available under the pictures heading on the quick start menu on the left hand side of Company Web. And in here we can see we have a single picture. And if we want more details on that picture, we can again simply click on that and you'll see it gives us the name, the type of file that it is, its resolution, plus any description and keywords. The big advantage of storing pictures into Company Web is the fact that you can add metadata or descriptions about that logo or that image, making it much easier to find the information that you're after. So again, if we want to edit this, I simply go up to my ribbon, select Edit, and you'll notice that I can go in here and enter additional information and save it when complete. If I want to uh, remove a picture from this library, I can simply click the checkbox so it's highlighted and then go to Actions and you'll notice that, for example, there's an option here to delete the picture. So it now prompts me to make sure that I want to send it to the recycle bin. I now select Yes and you'll notice that the item has been deleted from this library. So if I now go down to the bottom of the Quick Start menu, you'll notice an option here called Recycle Bin. If I now click on that, you'll notice that the item that I've just deleted has in fact been sent to the Recycle Bin. This now allows me to recover that item by simply checking it and restore the selection. I'm now prompted to confirm that I want to restore it, and it will now restore it, remove it from the Recycle Bin. Now if I return to my picture library, you'll see that the picture has been restored to its original location. So again, normally when you delete information from Company Web, it will be sent to the recycle bin. You can easily select that and use that to recover any deleted items. If I now return to my home page by clicking on the Home tab in the top left hand corner, you'll see I'm returned to the top page. In the top right hand corner, you'll notice there is a search box into which I can type a search term and then run a search. So in this case I've run a search for Company Web and as you can see I've received a number of hits. So if I click on any of these I will generally be taken to that item directly. So again all areas of SharePoint have the ability to be indexed and accessed directly by a search. So I hope you can see that Company Web is a very powerful component of Microsoft's Small Business Server 2011 standard. It is built using SharePoint technology that is available on most Windows Server editions. It's a starting point from which you can create a solution to solve your collaboration needs. Basically all you need to know is that Company Web is a standard tool, much like Word or Excel, that you can easily customize to suit your business needs. This video has provided a very basic overview of some of the most common features available with Company Web, as well as taking through a basic tutorial of these features. This video should make a great starting point for anybody wanting to come to grips with the basics of Company Web on Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard.